Well, good morning. Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. Yeah, he made it. And since he's done all the work, I'm going to take the time to rejoice. Yes, yes, yes. And be glad in it. Amen. That's all I got to do is like it. Amen. Amen. We thank God for this, another opportunity to stand before you with the word from on high. Facebook audience, our internet audience, those of you that are here present with us, we thank you, we don't Amen. take it for granted, you should be on another Facebook page or get something else. Amen. 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 If you are inspired by what we're doing here at Kingdom Builders, and you've never given to us before, we ask that you do so right now by using our Giblify app. Amen. Amen. You'll be sown into good ground, Amen. and you will reap an abundant harvest. Amen. 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 I'm not just telling you because I want your money. I want your bless. Amen. Amen. We all in church life, none of us. John the tenth chapter. Verse number twenty-seven. When you found it, say amen. amen. If you're still looking, say I'm still looking. If you're next to somebody and they ain't already found it, you haven't found it. Give them a hunch. Said, move your arms. Let me see. Bust them out. Set them free. Let me see. Let me see. Amen. You there? Amen. Free. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Amen. You may be seated in the front of Almighty God. Right. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. That's simple enough. Amen. That's simple enough. Amen. Amen. I'm going to talk today about hearing God's voice. Amen. We uh, started this on uh, Wednesday night. Amen. Amen. And uh, give me more volume, please. And uh, one thing we got to understand is uh, we got to learn to differentiate between a lot of noise and God's voice. That's right. Amen. I'm going to say that again. We've got to learn to differentiate between God's voice and all that noise you hear. Y'all see it again. We have got to learn to know the difference between God's voice and all that other stuff you hear. Come on, man. If you don't know yet that you're hearing a lot of other stuff other than God's voice, I ask you to check yourself in your day-to-day -day process. That's right. That's right. If you are looking at, and I'm, can I just take my time? Yes, sir. Yep. Go ahead. Amen. If you're looking at the drag queen that comes on television all the time, you hear the wrong stuff. Amen. Amen. Got something about already. More efficient. If you are constantly watching CNN Amen. all the time, Amen. you got too much junk in your Amen. ear. Amen. You constantly <laughs> Snapchatting, Instagramming, Facebooking live and anything else tweeting and ain't tweeting about nothing, you got too much stuff going on in your life. Right. Amen. If you watch TV 24-7 and you still ain't heard God's voice, then I'm going to tell you something about that. Amen. 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 If you got a smartphone, you need to lock it down sometime. Amen. Let it reboot Amen. itself a little bit. Let it recharge it on itself. Because if, you like, oh, if you're on the telephone that much, you're hearing too much stuff. Amen. Ain't nobody like it, nothing I'm saying. I'm going to say it anyway. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you got too much conversation going on with the wrong thing. Amen. Right. Amen. Proof is in the pudding. I don't know nobody like nobody of my own. If you're not increasing, evidently you're not listening well, right, right, right. to what God is saying. Well, 
Amen. Amen. He says, he that have ear, let him hear. Watch, watch this. He didn't say he didn't have ear, let him listen. Because y'all listening to too much now. Amen. Let him hear what the voice of the Spirit of God is saying. That's right. See, you got to stop listening to everything else. Amen. Anytime you find somebody, and no, no, let me bring on back home. Anytime you know about every conversation going on, you really don't know much about anything. Amen. 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 You got something to say about every conversation. All right, Amen. Amen. And you spread yourself kind of thin. Amen. Amen. You spread yourself kind of thin, and you probably don't know much about anything you need to know anything about. If we took the time to invest in the creator who created us, then we would have a lot better lifestyle afforded us. Amen. Amen. I amen that myself. Amen. Because when you come to know God in the pardon of your sin, you cannot sit in the same seat you've been sitting in, which is the seat of the sinner and the scornful. You have to move on. Amen. For a better life. You cannot stay where you are doing the same thing you're doing, expect the increase, and it's not of God. Amen. 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 So what we're seeking to the answer in our life challenges the answer in the God. Amen. That's it. That's it. Let, let, me, let me share something with you, okay? What we got to learn to do is you don't have to go through life blindly making excuses for not having better. Amen. Okay. 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 Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oftentimes, you say why you don't have better is because it just wasn't meant to be. Amen. That tells me right now you're listening to the wrong voice. Amen. That's it. Amen. That's it. Because God said through his son Jesus, I came that you might have life and have life more abundantly. So if you don't have any more abundance in your life, it's not because Jesus didn't want you to have it. You just don't want it. That's All right, right now. That's Amen. Because you refuse to do different or better according to God's word. God said do it my way because I do know the plan yeah. to prosper you. Amen. But you listen to every other voice. Amen. Yep. Amen. Have you found yourself trying to do like everybody else? And not realizing you're not meant to be like everybody else. Right. You're trying to do what everybody else do, but everybody else ain't doing what you need to do. That's right. Y'all hear it? No, not say yes, it. Sir. Amen. See, we sometimes we'll watch this. We'll try to go along yes, just to get along. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You don't want nobody upset with you. Well, what you don't understand is somebody need to get upset to do something Amen. different. Amen. You ever done? You don't never do nothing different until you get mad. And if you do the wrong thing, but you do. You don't have to get mad to do different. Just do different. That's it. Amen. Amen. When you hear, or when you learn to tune into God's voice, it will not be an occasional thing. All right. Amen. Amen. You hear God's voice all the time. Watch this. Watch this. God is not going to call you to do nothing extravagant all the time. Amen. Amen. He just wants you to change some ways. He just, all he may be telling you is, and his voice, is put your shoes on the right foot. Amen. <laughs> he, he didn't call you to preach the gospel. Amen. He just may want to tell you, you know, maybe you need to change your sneakers. Amen. You know, because they wore out. Maybe he just wants you to clean out your shed. Amen. Or your closet. Maybe he just wants you to cut the grass yeah. at home. Maybe he just wants you to start washing your face. <laughs> he don't want you to walk the Red Sea. He just change some stuff. Right. Maybe he wants you to stay out the television, uh, in, uh, look at the television all day. All right. just, he, just, he just wants you to make some changes. Nothing you can't do. Amen. He, he don't want you to call down fire from heaven. 
Because you can't hear his voice yet. Amen. Amen. He, he, he don't want you to make a, 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 a man of God from heaven because, you know, you have a hard time getting bread on your own table. All right. Amen. Come on. He wants you to just make some changes in your life. Amen. 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 So when we learn, go to Jeremiah 20, 29. I'm just in beer right now. From Wednesday night. Jeremiah 29 and 13. Because, listen. God has ways he wants you to hear it. The way. He says about 15 times in the New Testament, if you got an ear, you got to hear it. Amen. Anybody, anybody missing an ear? Okay, you got two ears, you need to hear it. Right. What the Spirit is saying to you. Amen. I just said listen to what the Spirit said to somebody else. Listen to what he's saying to you. Amen. Amen. Jeremiah 29. And 13 said, And ye shall seek me and find me, when ye shall search for me with all your heart. Okay, okay, watch this. The only way to know that you search for God with your whole heart, you got to have a spirit antenna tune in, and you got to expect to hear from God. All right, amen. Watch this. I'm, I'm talking to religious folk now. I expect to hear from God all the time. Amen. Now, you are, that are religious, you are, you, you're not expecting that. But my expectation is, if I'm talking to him, right. he's going to talk back to me. Right, right. So I expect to hear. Uh, what I'm trying to tell you is this. Let me break it down. I don't pray just to be talking. Right. Amen. I'm praying to have a conversation or a relationship with Father God Almighty that can bring me to where I need to be if I listen to what he got to say. Amen. Amen, amen. So, listen, do, do, I'm, I'm talking about those now. Do you ever get tired of telling somebody the same thing over and over and over again? Don't you get tired? Amen. Ain't that good that God don't get tired of telling the same thing over and over? Amen. And over. Because what? Faith comes back yeah. hearing over and over and over again. Good thing he don't get tired because sometimes we get play out. Right. <laughs> I'm tired of telling you. I'm not telling you no more. Good thing God ain't got that attitude. Good thing I ain't got that attitude. Because God said faith comes by hearing. You got to keep hearing it over and over and over again. Like, watch this. Stop trying to do things to make you look good. All right. Amen. All right. Amen. Amen. Okay. Let me move on. If you're not expecting him from God, you should. Amen. Some people say, well, he ain't talking to me. That's because you're not listening. He talking to you every day. Watch this. Here we go. How many got a Bible? Amen. Amen. How many got a Bible L? Amen. Amen. How many read your Bible sometimes? <laughs> Amen. How many read it a lot? Amen. And you still don't hear God's voice? Yeah. If you read it, that's what he's talking to you. Mm -hmm. That's what he's talking to Now, here's the thing about right here. He's talking to you through his word, but are you hearing? Amen. All right. Are you just listening? See, sometimes we'll read the word and we don't even know what it's saying. Amen. But we read it. We ain't gonna read it no more till tomorrow. I mean, I know, listen, I love those uh, I love those uh, uh things to get on the Bible app. Devotional. Is, is that what it is? Amen. Devotional, you know, and you read it, boy, you done done hundred when you read it. So you think. You ain't thought nothing about that you read. Right. If that if that notification don't come up tomorrow, you're not gonna read it. <laughs> on your own. It's not, you're, not, you're not gonna read it. Because you don't have a ear to hear what has to be said. But he gotta tell you over and over and over again. Bible out there. Right. Amen. So we gotta understand to hear him, you have to tune in and listen carefully. It's a still small Boys, God is not going to thunder like the thunder you hear when it's raining and storming. He's going to talk to you in a stick. Go, oh, y'all, 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 look at me like the cow looking at new gate. Go to 1 Kings 19. That got proof text. He's speaking to you right now. Okay. The Lord is speaking to you right now. Amen. Okay. The Lord is speaking to you right now. Amen. Amen. Right now. Yep. 
First King 19, verse number 20, what does it say? And after the earthquake and fire, but the Lord was not in the fire, and after the fire a still small voice. See, you look at Roy Loriana in a big time. Okay, 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 okay. You look at Vaughn at a big church conference. Mm -hmm. He's going to speak to me right there. He's not going to have me speaking to the yeah. big church yeah. conference. Amen. If you spend some time with him at your house, he'll speak to you now. Amen. 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 I'm going to hear what happened. I'm going to walk and die on loose. He's going to speak to me that way. And you lose back him. Right. If you listen to him. Right. Amen. Come on. I'm going I'm to get a revelation from the Lord when I go here. If you stop to spend the time right here, you get the revelation. Amen. Yeah. Yes, sir. God will speak to you where you are. He'll meet you right where you are. You ain't got to travel nowhere. Amen. I'm not saying don't go. <laughs> but you don't have to go. Amen. 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 Talk about the spirit of the okay? God wants to have a relationship with you. Amen. Amen. But do you want to have one with him? Amen. That's the question, amen? amen. So listen, listen, you got to have an inward witness. The only way I know God is talking to me, I need a witness. Amen. Now watch this. I don't need you to witness, I need an inward witness. Yes, yes, yes. Right. When God is talking to me, what helps me so much is, he doesn't condemn me for anything that he has to give over to me. He convicts me by letting me know, can I get a witness? All right. I said, yes, sir, that's me right there. Mm -hmm. That's me. Look what? When he said, I know the blood to prosper you, he talking to me. Right. Conviction. Right. Come on. He, when he said, love your neighbor and not suffer, he talking to me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I got to have a witness. Amen. If I don't know it for myself, you can't know it for me. Right. Amen. Right. Yes. Amen. I don't care how much I say, I forgive you. I honestly cannot forgive sin. Amen. Come on. Amen. Thank you, Annette. I thought about a raise the hand. Thank you. You got to understand that you got to learn to walk like God wants you to walk by hearing what he said here and do what he said do. Amen. That's all unctions and promptings that God has you to do. But God tell you to do something sometimes. You know it, God. You just don't want to do it. Right, right, right. You know it, God. Because only God going to tell you to do what's right. Right. And because it don't feel good, you don't want to do it. Amen. Come on. Amen. I, I don't do right on Mondays. Because of the Monday morning blues. I'll wait till Friday because I'm going to live on the weekend. You got what I'm saying? What if God decided to do what he wanted to do when he got ready to do it when it was convenient for him? Amen. You better talk back to me. Amen. See, see, what's going to happen is one day, what I just say? One, one day, day you're going to look for God and you can't not die. Amen. That day ain't going on. Amen. And you're looking for him now. Amen. amen. See, God, God does not communicate the way we communicate with one another. That's right. Amen. That's right. He communicates what did from his spirit to your spirit. That's right. Amen. See, your spirit of witness to what God has said all the time. And, 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 not, and listen, just because you saying that, well, no, I shouldn't have said it. I shouldn't have said it. Just because I'm, you saying amen don't mean you witnessing. Well, well, right, amen. Right. You got that to Go ahead on. Well. Amen. Come on now. Come on. You're getting this 11 and 10. Come on now. Amen. Come on. You trying to get me up and out of here quick. Where you going? Ain't no football on, no basketball. You may have to me now. Hey man, you, you can't even go on to Walmart. You got to wear a mask. You know you don't like that mask. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, you may want to listen to me. I'm trying to help you get to the next level. Yeah. See, some of y'all under COVID, I'm on top of it. Yeah. Yes, All right. yes, amen. Ain't because I wear a mask either. <laughs> amen. See, you got to get an inward witness, okay? You got to have one of this. You got to start. And don't, this does not make you a bad person. Because you have bad thoughts don't make you a bad person. Amen. amen. Say, everybody say amen. amen. Because you do have bad thoughts. Yes. Right now you're looking at me thinking, <laughs> it ain't all good. Bad thoughts don't come in your head. I don't care how long you've been saved. I don't care how much you love God. Bad thoughts don't come. But you got to learn to hear God's voice and cast down every imagination that's exalting itself against the knowledge of God and bring it into captivity with that word. Yeah, yeah. 
yeah, 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 yeah. A, a person told me the other day, said, you know, I love you and Lady Chapman because y'all always do what y'all do. I don't care what people say. Like, maybe you talking to the right one. I ain't studying people. Amen. Amen. You know, Amen. ain't nobody making this old boy. Only God made me and that lady what we are. Nobody else. Amen. I ain't studying people. That's I don't right. do what God said. Right. You like it or don't like it. Amen. 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 I walk by faith, not by sight. That's right. Because I believe what God's word says. If you listen, either you for me or you against me, ain't no selling the fence. Amen. And I don't care about you not loving me, because you can't do nothing about me loving you. That's right. right. That's right. Nothing. Because what I ain't loving you because I'm so good. Yeah. I ain't love you because I'm so holy. Yeah. I ain't love you because I meditate on God's word. If God didn't say do it, I probably wouldn't do it. Right. Yeah. But because I know the benefit in doing it, pre I'm going to do it anyhow. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, God will talk to you in a subtle. And when it's subtle, it requires you to be close to him. Amen. You ever, you ever talk to somebody and ask them about what maybe they should be doing? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Let me back it up. What my baby? My baby feeling pretty good. This she's on there. She's a good wife. <clears throat> when she was showing up, my baby. Long time ago. No, I ain't been long ago. <laughs> she's still my baby. But when she was a little baby, and she had chores, every time I would go to my baby, <laughs> And ask her, why haven't you done your chores? This was our announcement to Papa. I was about to. <laughs> <laughs> no, you wasn't. If I hadn't said anything, you were not about to. Right. You ever talk to somebody now, every time you ask them something, they were just about to do it. Yep. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, they wasn't. You should have been undone. I was going to get that. No, you wouldn't. You don't walk past the 15 times. You were not going to do it. But now you see somebody going to do it. Now you want to do it. See, God said, come to me, all ye that are, what, heavy laden, burning and heavy laden. So you come to him to get some relief. Watch this. If you hear God's voice, you ain't going to worry. Amen. Mm -mm, because you're going to cast your prayers on him. Okay, okay. How can you come to a place to where you know whether or not it's your voice or God? It's called having a union. Y'all hear me? First Corinthians 6. You need a certainty that you're hearing God's voice when it comes to people who are united with him. Yes. Now see what? Somebody that's united with God can tell you something. Right. Okay, okay, watch this. You have to know somebody, I don't care how much you talk to them, they already know. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I know. Yeah. Then why are we having this conversation? I don't know, but I know. Right, right. Then the I know. Well, why you make that mistake that we're talking about? I don't know, but I know. Amen. Okay. Verse Corinthians 6. Verse number 17. But he that is joined to the Lord is one spirit. Joined to the Lord is one spirit. Watch. Now watch this. Let me let me help clarify this. If you are not joined to God, I'm not talking to you. All right. Amen. You can't get this because you're not one spirit. Right. On the day of Pentecost, they were in. One place, right. watch this, join together, mm -hmm. hearing one voice, right. serving one God. Right. Watch this. Then, all of a sudden, mm -hmm. like a mighty right. rushing wind, yeah. the Spirit of God came in and sat on them boys yeah. and women. I can't hear what I'm saying. So what? When it came in, because they were in one place, right. in one unity, 
One worship spirit, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Worshiping one God, then the spirit came in and joined itself with them. Now what? When you have to spend some time with God, folks don't think bad about you. Right. Amen. Okay, 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 okay. On the same day, preacher Peter preached sure like he needed to preach. Sure Watch this. Peter didn't, no, Peter could curse him, now we can preach too. Peter, Peter could turn the church out. Yeah. But what did he preach? Until the Spirit came in, like he was going to come in and watch it. Both on the outside, they didn't understand the union said they got to be drunk. Yeah. Then Peter said, no, no. No, they ain't drunk. I want you to understand, so there'll be something table for you. They may have been drinking round about this time. But this time they're not drinking because it's too early in the morning. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I ain't said they didn't drink, it's too early. Sure. They got full of the spirit. That's what they drunk with. And see, once you get and spend some time with God and be in the spirit, you're gonna look like a drunk person. Amen. Amen. Like you don't drink it now. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I'm helping somebody. It doesn't apply to you if you're not living for God now. If you're not living for God, don't even worry about it. Amen. 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 Okay, so we got to see that once we uh, get check out receiver, then we got to find this frequency. Go to John 10 and 4. Now, that once was a time I couldn't tune in to nothing. That was the time I couldn't even tune my television. Come on. You know, you try to tune your trouble this. Yeah. Who remember back in the day before they got remotes and all that kind of stuff? You know, before they got a sell out antenna, you had to be the one that had the aluminum foil standing beside the antenna seat on the television. Right. Amen. And you could move, you had to move the way they carried the room when they, when they finally got the station tuned in with the number chime three out of numbers, you still got to stay there. Yep. Yep. You couldn't move. <laughs> Because you the antenna. Right. Yep. Hold the aluminum for That truth is coming through you. You stay right there. Right. I want to look at the TV too. Right. Come on. Amen. John 10 and 4 says, And when he put it forth his own sheep, he goeth before them. And the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. Okay, okay. The only reason the sheep follow the shepherd, they know his voice. Amen. Okay, okay, here we go. She Amen. are done. All right. Oh, Lord. <laughs> but we have a shepherd by the name of Jesus. Yes. The big time shepherd. Yes, sir. If we know his voice like sheep, we follow him because we're done. Right. Yeah. right. Well, it's all right to be done because shepherd. Take care of sheep. Right. Yeah. Shepherd leads sheep to greener pastures. Yes, Beside the still water. Yes. Help to get your soul restored. Yes. Or keep you out of the wolf's mouth. Yes. Well, let me bring it on home. If you would make up your mind to listen to me, being your under shepherd, right. and not listen to God, then I can lead you to greener pastures. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. But Amen. you refuse to hear what I got to say Amen. coming from God. You think you got me food. You better check yourself yeah. before you wreck yourself. And, I, and you're going to be led by the overflow of the water. Amen. And the path is going to look green on the other side, and it ain't. Yeah, all right. I'm trying to get you to hide your heights in the Lord. I don't want to go up, and you don't go with me. Right. Right. He's not here letting you hear what i got to say. I'm trying to tell you what God has told me to tell you. Yeah. You got to listen and tune in to the frequency. Yeah. I'm not talking just to be talking for myself. I don't sit up there day and night trying to listen to God to come up with a word to give you. I'm listening to God to give it to you so you can increase. Amen. Amen. Oh, let me bring it to home to you. Don't you think you too young to die. And Amen. don't think you too old that you can't go to hell. Amen. Amen. You better tune in. You better start making some changes in your life for better. Amen, amen. How do you locate the frequency used to speak to you? Most often we miss the frequency because we're tuning in to hear some other stuff. Amen, amen, amen. 
I promise you. I promise you. If you're giving God an hour a day of your time, that's good, but it's not enough. Amen. Because there's 24 hours in a day, and something getting more than God. Amen, right. amen. Say that, amen. Something getting more than God. Yes, yes, yes. God knows in heaven, man. Yes. I love my wife. Amen. And I give her all the time I can possibly give her. But don't you think she's going to get going in God's time? Right. And she ain't got to worry about it because God fixed it. She ain't going to be working 2 o'clock in the morning, no way. Amen. That mean God. I'd be like, why you give me at that time? Because she's asleep. Because yep. if she ain't sleep, you're going to make sure. So come on. Amen. And I can't change it because that's how he got it set up. That's right. Come on. And half the time, I'm not asleep anyway because somebody's going to call me and tell me how good I've done something like smoked a, a chick, a corner's in. Boy, that corner's in. Why you wait at 11 30 to call and tell me that? You would have told me that when you got it. Matter of fact, you have to tell me I already know it's good. Okay. Because you keep on me to smoke. And now I'm awake all night. And then while I'm awake, and I need a waste of my time. Let me go and lay hands on her and bless her. Let me go to the front because I already know God. What are you going to do? Come to the front porch. I'm already here. Now what you waiting on? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. I need to talk to you too. Got it? Amen. So you got to find this frequency. Amen. Amen. Listen. The finest frequency. Can I help you? Come on, man. Stop watching so much television. Amen. Okay. Let me help you. Let me help Because God white television can't say Amen. Amen. <laughs> amen. <laughs> amen. They ain't fearing nothing new. COVID. Yeah. Right. See, you you were laughing at me and, and men are saying we're watching God smoke and bar the fight now you watching reruns. That's right. <laughs> ain't nothing new. Right. No, uh -uh, ain't nothing. You watching reruns. Yeah, right. The same thing all oh, you may well come on doing God smoke right. and living in the blood with yeah. Amen. You may as well. You, you may as well come on, give me some golden girls. Oh, amen. <laughs> I'm tired of watching the NBA playoffs in 2017, right. 2019. I know who's going to win. Right. I'm tired of watching that. I'm tired of watching the NFL Super Bowl back in uh, 89. I'm sick of that. I'm sick of watching. I love that. I got tired of looking at Swamp Law. Yeah. I got tired of looking at Swamp people. Shoot him, God. I'm, I know he's going to shoot him. I know Troy Langer is the king of the song. Y'all want the same stuff? Yeah. Cut it off. Amen. 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 Then you got what? Well, I said, ooh, help me, Holy Spirit. Get off social media. Well, All right. Amen. I don't feel it that much. Find that day. Go talk to my baby. Have him back. Find that day to tell me how long you've been on social media and how many hours and how many days. Yep. Yep. You could be surprised. Yep. Amen. 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 Take a stand against someone you love who are always talking okie doke. Come on. Amen. Hey, they don't have you. Amen. Come on now. Amen. We got to learn to do these things to be better. Amen. 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 We got to spend more time. Watch this. This is important. You got to spend more time, more, more positive time with your children. Amen. 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 Here, here, here's the truth. I know sometimes now you, all your kids done got grown, you're on here. But you got to hear it sometimes. If my kids want to talk to me, I'm not too busy to hear them. Amen. Amen. Now, I grant you this. Some of them going to tell you everything they want to tell you. And I don't care what you say to them, they still don't, they going to listen, but I got time to listen to them. I don't have time. I already know. Well, if I say this, you still ain't gonna listen. But I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna listen to what you gotta say. Amen. Because I gotta take the time. I'm listening to everybody else. Amen. Okay, this is what I'm trying to tell you. How can I be a pastor counseling everybody in the church and ain't got time for my own family? Amen. Come on, Come on. My first ministry is my family. That's right. Okay. Amen. Then you gotta show compassion to your spouse. Amen. 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 You got to. If, if you watch the TV on social media, you ain't got time for your spouse. Come on. Well. A 
Okay, watch this. Amen. The Bible says, watch this, love your wife as I love the church. Amen. Now, he obligates the man. Yeah. But he didn't, he didn't kick the woman to the side. Yeah. You got to love him as he loved God as well, woman. Because if he loved you as he had loved the church, you know, good and well, you're looking bad, your faults in the knees. Amen. And you got to do the same for him. Amen, amen. 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 You, watch this. you got to stop watching. Stop disrespecting the house of God and those in it. Amen. 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 Let that marinate. You have to stop disrespecting the house of God. Just think about it for a moment. Well, Pastor, come on and tell us. No, you know. Amen. You already know. Amen. Here, here, here's, a, here's the one that will stand out real good if y'all were How would y'all feel? What the truth is there? Amen. Amen. Come, come tell me the truth now. How would y'all feel about coming here with one of them big hoagie stogies, cigar, and puffing under while I'm preaching? Y'all think something wrong with him? Would I be disrespectful? Amen. Amen. Some guys say, no, you they don't make it right. Amen. That's disrespecting the house of God. Yes. Got it? And y'all know good work. Y'all was sitting in here, but ooh, we ain't soon as soon as yeah. You talk about a couple seconds. You, you know he got up there with a cigar, girl. Yeah. <laughs> what? And y'all Facebooking me too. I'll be all over the country. Right. Amen. Amen. We gotta learn to do these things. Amen. Listen, we gotta be ready to have a level of intimacy with God when we hear His voice. All right. Amen. What the then we learn to hear His voice, He'll launch us to another level in Him. Okay. Amen. Okay. Okay. You're right. What this is what I'm talking about? Oftentimes, when God's speaking to you. He not only telling you to stop doing wrong, he telling you to do some more right when you go to another level. Right, right. Come on, help me, y'all. How many of you want to go to another level in God? Yes, sir. Okay, then you got to get closer to him yeah. in order to go to another level. I got to help this. In order for me to go to another level, I got to get up a lot of morning at 2 30. And hear what he got to tell me so I can go to another level in him. Y'all ain't listening to nothing I'm saying. So you got to understand. You got to make your sacrifice. Hey, sometimes you got to get out of your comfort zone. That's it. Amen. That's it. Amen. You got to get out of your comfort zone to be comfortable. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Amen. Yes, you do. You got to stop doing it. Doing. Listen. Here, watch this. My kids, children, are grown. Yeah. I don't try to run their life. that you don't do it this way. Suffer the consequences if you do it the way you're going to be good. Obey him. It's non-negotiable. Right. I get it tomorrow. No, tomorrow ain't promise you. Got it? Amen. Then we got to learn. Watch this. To act like watch this. Babies. All right. Matthew 18. Matthew 18. Go on over there. Matthew 18. Matthew 18. See, listen. We some of y'all couldn't wait to get grown. I know I couldn't. But once I got grown, the other time, as rough the thing was, I went out back in the house. Amen. Amen. But then I got to thinking about some things that were at the house. I said, I better go get this thing right. 
Because I don't want to go back to the plantation. Amen. Matthew 18. I want you to read verse 1 and probably 2. Matthew 18. You got it? Read. And at the same time came the, the disciples unto Jesus, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And Jesus called a little child unto him and set him in the midst of them. Watch this. Some of y'all honestly think you're on your way to heaven cause you the PK. That means preacher's key. Some of y'all think you're on the way to heaven cause you're the associate pastor. Okay. Some of y'all think y'all going to heaven cause you're my mother-in-law, sister-in-law. Some of y'all think y'all going to heaven cause you're the deacon. Some of y'all think y'all going to heaven because you the praise leader. Some of you think you're going to heaven because you're the earthly. Some of you think you're going to heaven because you're the chief financial officer. Some of you think you're going to heaven because you're the administrator. But you will not get there until you learn to act like a child. Come on. Come on. What I mean by act like a child? You got to obey what God says do. If your child will do what you tell them to do, you can going check them. Yes, sir. And God is the same way. If you don't do what he tells you or commands you to do, he will check you. Yes, yes sir. And the only reason you checking your child, you want your child to be obedient where they can increase. Yeah. That's the only thing God is doing right now. He wants you to obey him where he can increase you. Because right. he knows the plan to prosper you and to bring you good success. You don't. Right. I'm about to say nothing to me. God tried to get you to come in there way of not to be childlike, but to be like a child and obey. Right. And when you tell a child to stop, you expect that child to stop. When God, what did God say the same day? Thou shalt not. And then you said, Thou can. Mm -hmm. Amen. And all of God's people say it. Amen. Ain't got but a few, but I got a few. Mm -hmm. Go to John 20. I mean, John. Uh, I've been there before. We go back again. John 10 and 27. We got to learn to the Son. Uh oh. Got to learn to discern. We've got to learn to discern the spirit of God or the voice of God. Amen. John 10 and 27 says, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Okay, watch. Here's an analogy. Hope y'all get this. The reason you know your spouse or your significant other or your, or your relative's voice it's because you hear it constantly. Right. Oh, I gotta have some folk to help me. A mother knows her child's voice. Yes, sir. Amen. Let me help you now. Let me help you with what's this. And you know, since it's your child, whether they're in danger or they just call it your name. Yes. Okay, watch. Well, Back in the day, I'm talking about me, because y'all ain't y'all here, y'all ain't with me today. Back in the day, we said, Mama, 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 Mama. Then the birthday mama said, stop singing my name. That means you don't want nothing. But if I get the right pitch for the mama, mama said, what's wrong? Yes, sir. Amen. You know your child. You can be 900 kids out the yard playing, and you know your child was. Yeah, out of 900 kids, that ain't by accident. That's because you don't spend time you were drawn together. Yeah. You know their voice, yeah. and they know your voice. Y'all yes, better stop that. Who that? That was my mama. <laughs> you already know. You already know. It could be 90 different Ronnie's and Tommy's out there. Your mama called your name Ronnie or Tommy. You know that's your mama. Yes. Right. You already know. So you come running. It's the same thing when it comes to God's voice. You got to learn to spend some time with him where you can discern what he's saying and who's talking. Yep. The devil tell you ain't nothing wrong with that. God said don't do that. Okay, y'all listen. Back in the book of Genesis, he said, listen, he said, listen. He said, I love y'all, Adam and Eve. Y'all do know that, right? He said, I love you, Adam and Eve. I love you. He said, everything in the garden is yours, except for that one tree. Yeah. That one tree is mine. Don't mess with that tree. Now, here comes somebody that don't know nothing about nothing but what they know about. 
come and tell the lie. He don't want you to eat that tree because he knows you'll be like him. Now, he didn't say he said, that's in my tree. <laughs> now, they got every tree in there. They probably wouldn't even have all they had every tree in the garden. Yeah. Think about all the trees around. They had every kind of tree. But they had to go get that one tree that he told them not to mess with. Now, they jacked up. And now Satan's in back up. Hmm? Well, it ain't my fault. Who fault is it? You got it? You got to learn to hear God's voice and do what he said do so you can get the benefit and the blessing. Amen? Amen. 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 You got to learn to do it. You need to spend time with the Lord. What? When you don't learn to spend time with the Lord, you're going to have a carnal mind. Amen. Uh-huh. A carnal mind will make you make a phone call and start gossiping. All right. <laughs> a carnal mind will make you make a phone call and start gossiping. Amen. Yes, it will. You be talking about stuff on your job, and the person you talking to ain't got a dog in the fight. Amen. What you talking about? Amen. Ain't nothing the person you talking to ain't do nothing about their job to get you fired. That's right. What you talking about? Learn to stop that. Talk about the Lord. Amen. I just call it talk about how good God is. You know, I read the, I read the scripture and God told me, love my neighbor, I do myself, and I started doing that. And woo wee, boy, you talking about good feel man. And God bless me for that. That's what you gotta learn to do. You gotta tell yourself, I'm a blessing. I'm gonna wait someone to happen. Don't the things you say. Mm -hmm. Stop taking the time for idle talk. He the hell here. Amen. Amen. We learn to hear his voice when we listen. Now here's what I found out, another problem. We will tune in to God's voice. But we spend too much time talking. All right. Amen. Learn to listen. Right. It's a he to have ear, not he to talk. Right. You gotta learn to hear and listen to what he's saying. And I don't think you need to ask yourself, God, something I'm never ain't getting it. Can you just make it plain to me? This is my prayer when I'm spending time with God. God, I don't get it. Make it simple and plain, crystal clear to me, because you know sometimes I'm kind of slow. So make it plain to me, because I don't want to miss it. See, you don't need to, you don't need to want to miss what God is saying to you. That's why you want to be clear and simple. Amen. 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 Matthew. 17. I got to give you scripture for this, okay? See, we got we to gotta just stop talking so much and listen. Amen. Matthew 17. It's going to shock you right here. Y'all need a commandment, right? Y'all know who's going to take commandments? Amen. Watch this right here. Matthew 17, verse number 5. While well, he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them. And behold, a voice out of the cloud which said, This is my beloved son, and who I am well pleased. Hear ye him. Huh? Hear ye him. Hear what he got to say. Right. God gave the commandment. He wasn't talking to Jesus. He was talking to us. Right. Hear him. The word of God is of Jesus. You got to hear, hear what he's saying. Yeah. Hear him. That's a commandment. He didn't, it wasn't on court tomorrow, was it, Kim? That was a commandment. Hear him. He said, what? This is who I'm well pleased in. Hear what he got to say. Yeah. You got to learn to hear what he said. Then when you hear it, do it. Right. Right. Okay, I'm moving on. I got to get out of here. We got to learn to line this word up with the Bible. Yeah. Second Timothy 3 and 16. Once you already know you're in God's words, it's line it up with the, with the, with the Bible. You got to... If you think, if you're not sure, then find it in the Bible. Go to Google Universal and line it up. You got it? The best education, the best college you can go to is Google. Google got everything. Amen. Okay. I'm trying to help y'all take a shortcut. We're going to go on through the devil. 22 mountains. God never tell you to do something or think something or say something that's contrary to his word. 2 Timothy 3 and 16 said, 
We all, hear yeah. all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. See that? See, all scripture is inspired of God. Watch this. And it's profitable. Right. Amen. It helps you get better. Right. Amen. It helps you do better. Yeah. Can't nobody tell you nothing but the word of God will correct you. Amen. Amen. It, it is helping you to get straight. Here's what helped me by the word of God to learn that I needed, to, I needed God to help me every day. One day I decided, by God's spirit, I'm going to read the book of Proverbs. Every time I read Proverbs, all I could see in Proverbs was me. I'm like, wait a minute. It can't be just me in here, but it's profitable for me. When I started seeing me, it didn't condemn me. It just showed me me. So when I read the book of Proverbs, I became a better person because I saw what I was messing up. All right. When I, oh, okay, let me tell you something. Yeah, I got mad, through the Bible across the room. I had a, my business, then I threw it across the shop, and, and it went up behind another machine, and I said, it's worth a beat because I ain't getting it, because I'm sick of reading about me. And when I picked it up, the next couple of days, doctor, I said, well, there ain't no big you can't do what I told me. You can't throw the Bible like that. That's God's word. Well, look at that Bible. When they got the Bible, I said, I read it again. Ain't nothing changed. Amen. It's still about me. So I had to learn, accept it, because now I'm free Amen. when I read about me. Amen. If they said nobody else, they're talking about me. Amen. Amen. The Spirit of God will to tell you to do the thing that will give you more of an abundant life. You better hear me. God always agrees with his written word. Amen. Okay, we're going to get about that proof change right quick. Psalm 139. See, God will always do it. He refuses to forgive. See what? He's going to tell you not to refuse to. He's not going to tell you to refuse to forgive somebody when he wants you to prosper. Right, right, right. Psalm 139, verse 2. You there? Mm -hmm. Thou knowest my down sitting and my uprising too. Thou understandest my thoughts afar off. God says, think like me. Now, this is what he's saying. You think like me, you're going to be thinking right. Who can have the mind of Christ? You. He said, think like me. He, this is what he said. He said, this is what I want you to understand. I'm not going to come down here, Daddy, for you to think like me. I'm going to have to let you come up to me to think like me because my ways are not your ways. My thoughts are not your thoughts. And they're much higher than yours. I can think higher than you, so you come up. You're thinking too low. See, that's why, that's why I can tell you honestly, I don't worry about what people say about me. Amen. I'm not trying to make a reputation for me. So therefore, I have nothing to defend. All I got to do is tell you what thus says the Lord. Either you do it or you don't. That's on you. Right. But if I do what he say do, I can't do nothing but get rewarded by what he say do. Exactly. So I ain't got to make no reputation of myself because God got all this stuff on the line. And since he cannot lie, he ain't got enough hold either. Amen. That's why he don't need none of us to witness to his word. He'll witness to his own self. Yes, he said, I swear by no man, I can witness to myself. I'm the word made flesh. Okay, I'm about gone now. God trains us to recognize his voice through his written word. I never told you that. Watch. You got to start remembering that you are healed. Amen. If God can get you to heal your mind, right. you're going to improve a lot of ways. Watch this. By his stripes, you are healed. Amen. You got to heal your thinking. Amen. If you get your thinking right, then you learn to hear. The only way you get your thinking right, you got to hear what he said and apply it and let it get in your mind. Amen. You can watch it. You got to saturate yourself with God's word constantly. Amen. 
The only way you're going to improve in life is you've got to take God's word and apply it. But saturate yourself with it. Yep. Stop laying in the bed nine and ten hours a day and just thinking. Thinking about what? Saturate yourself with the word. Amen. What am I going to do if I cut the television off? Get in the word. Yes, what am I going to do if I cut the cell phone off? Get in the word. Amen. Can anybody use their cell phone and work? I mean, you know, can you cuss and you like you use it all the time? Anybody? You look at it to cut it off, right? Okay, if you can do it on the job, you can do it as well. That's right. You can do it for the Lord. That's right. It's helping you. See, the reason I won't get them cell phones used on the job, Jesus, that's a distraction. Amen. So God said, stop being distracted and come on, let me use it with you. Amen? Amen. Okay? Isaiah said that. You ain't got to go there. Matthew said, my brothers and sisters, sin. If your brother and sister sin, go and point out their fault, and let that be between you and them. Amen. Often time, folk can't wait to tell the wrong you done done. Right. Amen. Amen. And often time, you one of them folk that want to tell. All right. Somebody do something wrong, you can't wait to tell. <laughs> Ain't nothing going on. No. But rest assured, if it was going on, I'd tell you. Some, some people can't hold water. Amen. Amen. In a glass. In a bucket. Can't, you got them telling. <laughs> it ain't worth telling. And then you think it's all right. Until they start telling on you. All right. Now the problem. It shouldn't be a problem. Because if you understood the scripture, if you were listening, that which you sowed, you just reaped. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. We got to learn that whatever place you give him in your life, the Spirit of God will fill it up for you. Amen. Once I let God take over my thinking, my life improved. Amen. Okay? We got to learn to line up with the word. Back here a long time ago, I, I think I the Spirit of God to let me close right there. Back here a while ago, long time ago, long time ago, long time ago, I wanted to just show how burst I was in the body. So every chance I get, I would let Lady T have it. Especially she was wrong. I would let her have it. Thus says the Lord. Until one day, I got arrested by the Spirit of God in prayer. It told me I was wrong. Yes, I said it. Yes, she's wrong. But who are you? Well, you said to point out her fault. Yeah, I told her to point it out, not write it. So now he arrests me and show me what time it is. Now I don't browbeat her. I learn to talk with her and to get her to understand or help her to understand what thus says the Lord. Right. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. So what? It's like anything else. That was why I said I'm going. These three parishioners in a boat. They were fishing. Anybody here like fishing other than me? They were fishing. And so that was a, a bishop, a preacher, and a deacon. So the bishop decided he had to go to the men's room. But they had on a boat. So he decided, I don't want to disturb them. So let me get out of the boat and go to the bank and take care of my business. So the bishop got out of the boat, went to the bank, walked to the bank, took care of his business, walked back, got back in the boat. Well, then, a little later on, the preacher had to go take care of his business as well. He said, I don't want to disturb anybody either. I guess I'll do like the bishop did. i get out of the boat, walk to the bank, take care of my business, walk back to the boat, get back in the boat. The deacon said, well, I guess I need to go take care of my business too. The bishop and, uh, and, and, and the preacher went. The preacher, the deacon, stepped out the boat and sank. Almost drowned. 
<laughs> they helped him back in the boat. The bishop and the preacher did. They said, the, the preacher said, Bishop, he said, yes, sir. you think we ought to tell the deacon the truth? I said, what truth? He said, you tell him we walked on some stones and we weren't trying to walk on water. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you got to understand what folks do. Right. 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 If God didn't tell you to walk on water, don't you try. Right. I don't know but two that walked on water. That's Jesus and Peter. Uh, they don't talk about nobody that walking on water that I know of. If God didn't tell you to do it, don't you do it. Amen. Get a good understanding. Learn to hear the voice of God. And then you'll be better in your life and you'll have life more abundantly. That's God's word for God's people. I Amen. hope you got something out of this. Amen. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Amen. 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 We thank God for your uh, diligence. We thank God for his word. Amen. 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 Amen.